Imagine waking up without the worry of money. No stress about bills, debts, or unexpected expenses. This is what financial independence feels like. It's a dream many people have, but few know how to achieve it. Understanding the stages of financial independence can help you plan and reach your goals step by step. In this video, we will explore the eight stages of financial independence. From struggling with debt to enjoying financial freedom, each stage is a milestone on your journey. You'll learn what each stage looks like and what actions you need to take to move forward. Whether you're just starting or already on your way, this guide will give you the tools and motivation to keep going. Ready to start your journey to financial freedom? Let's dive into the first stage and see where you are now. Stage one, financial dependence. In this stage, people often feel stuck. They may have a job, but their income is not enough to cover all their expenses. The first step to move out of financial dependence is to create a budget. A budget helps you see where your money goes and find areas to cut back. Next, it's crucial to build an emergency fund. Even a small amount, like $500, can prevent you from taking on more debt when unexpected expenses arise. Paying down high interest debt, like credit cards, is also important. Focus on paying more than the minimum payment to reduce your debt faster. Start by tracking your expenses and setting up a budget. Put aside a little money each month for emergencies and focus on paying off credit card debt. Financial dependence can feel overwhelming, but with careful planning and small steps, you can start to take control of your finances and move to the next stage. Stage two, solvency. It means you earn enough to cover your basic living expenses without falling into debt. Reaching solvency is a big milestone. It shows you are starting to manage your money better. To stay solvent, it's important to continue following a budget. This helps ensure you don't overspend and can handle any unexpected costs. Begin by paying down your high interest debts, like credit cards. By focusing on reducing these debts, you can free up more money each month. This extra money can go towards savings or investments. Creating a small emergency fund is another key step. Solvency is about stability. It's the foundation for building a more secure financial future. With careful budgeting, paying down debt, and saving for emergencies, you can stay solvent and move closer to financial independence. Stage three, stability. Meet James, who has worked hard to reach financial stability. James now has an emergency fund that can cover six months of living expenses and no high interest debt. This stage, called stability, means you are well prepared for financial surprises and have a strong foundation. To achieve stability, James continued to budget carefully. He tracked his spending and made sure to live within his means. This helped him avoid unnecessary debt and save more money each month. Building a larger emergency fund was a priority for James. He set aside a small amount from each paycheck until he had enough savings to cover six months of living expenses. This fund acts as a safety net, giving him confidence that he can handle unexpected expenses like car repairs or medical bills without stress. James also started investing. He opened a retirement account and began contributing regularly. Even small investments can grow over time, thanks to compound interest. Diversifying his investments helped reduce risk and increase potential returns. Financial stability is about being prepared and having a plan. By saving, budgeting, and starting to invest, James created a stable financial base. This stage brings peace of mind and sets the stage for future financial growth. Stage four, debt freedom. Meet Emma, who has reached the stage of debt freedom. Emma has worked hard to pay off all her non-mortgage debts, including student loans and credit card balances. Being debt-free means Emma no longer has to worry about monthly debt payments, which gives her more financial flexibility. To achieve debt freedom, Emma made a plan to pay off her debts systematically. She focused on paying off the highest interest debt first while making minimum payments on the others. Once the high interest debt was gone, 
She used the money she had been paying to tackle the next debt, and so on. This method is known as the debt avalanche. Emma also made extra payments whenever she could. She used bonuses from work, tax refunds, and any extra money to pay down her debts faster. By living below her means and sticking to her budget, she managed to free herself from debt. Now, without monthly debt payments, Emma can redirect her money towards savings and investments. She increases her contributions to her retirement account and starts saving for other goals, like buying a home or traveling. Debt freedom is a major milestone. It allows you to focus on building wealth and securing your financial future. By staying disciplined and managing your money wisely, you too can achieve debt freedom. Stage 5. Financial Security Let's look at Tom's story. Tom has reached the stage of financial security. He has enough savings and investments to cover his basic living expenses for several months without needing to work. This stage gives Tom peace of mind, knowing he can handle life's uncertainties. To achieve financial security, Tom continued to save and invest. He built a robust emergency fund that can cover at least six months of his living costs. This fund is separate from his regular savings and is only for true emergencies. Tom also increased his investments. He contributed regularly to his retirement account and invested in a diverse portfolio of stocks and bonds. Diversifying his investments helped spread risk and grow his money over time. Another important step Tom took was getting proper insurance. He made sure he had health insurance, life insurance, and other necessary coverage. This protection ensures that unexpected events, like medical emergencies, won't derail his financial progress. Financial security is about having a safety net. It means being prepared for unexpected expenses and having the means to support yourself without stress. By saving diligently, investing wisely, and protecting against risks, Tom has built a secure financial foundation. This stage brings stability and prepares him for the next steps towards financial independence. Stage 6. Financial Independence Meet Lisa, who has achieved financial independence. Lisa has enough passive income from her investments to cover all her living expenses. This means she doesn't need to work to pay her bills and can choose how to spend her time. To reach financial independence, Lisa focused on building multiple streams of passive income. She invested in stocks that pay dividends, bought rental properties that generate rental income, and put money into bonds that provide interest. These investments produce a steady flow of money each month. Lisa also kept her living expenses low. By living frugally and avoiding lifestyle inflation, she needed less money to cover her costs. This made it easier to reach the point where her passive income could fully support her. Achieving financial independence took years of careful planning and disciplined saving. Lisa consistently invested a portion of her income and reinvested the returns. Over time, her investments grew and her passive income increased. Financial independence gives Lisa freedom. She can pursue hobbies, travel, or start new projects without worrying about money. It's the stage where work becomes a choice, not a necessity. By building passive income and keeping expenses in check, you can achieve financial independence and enjoy true financial freedom. Stage 7. Financial Freedom Now, let's look at Mark's journey. Mark has reached the stage of financial freedom. This means he has enough money to afford a comfortable lifestyle without needing to work at all. His investments and savings provide more than enough to cover his expenses. Mark achieved this by continuing to grow his wealth even after reaching financial independence. He made wise investments, saved diligently, and avoided unnecessary expenses. He focused on growing his passive income streams, like rental properties and dividends from stocks. With financial freedom, Mark can live his dream life. He travels, pursues his hobbies, and spends time with his family. He doesn't worry about money because he knows he has enough to support his lifestyle indefinitely. Financial freedom is about having the means to do what you love without financial stress. 
By investing wisely and managing your money well, you too can reach this stage and enjoy the ultimate financial peace of mind. Stage 8. Abundance and Wealth Meet Olivia, who has reached the stage of abundance and wealth. Olivia has more money than she needs to maintain her lifestyle and can make a significant impact on others. She has accumulated substantial wealth through smart investments, saving, and growing her passive income. At this stage, Olivia focuses on legacy and giving back. She invests in philanthropic projects, supports charitable causes, and helps her family and community. Her wealth allows her to create positive changes in the world. Olivia also works with financial advisors to manage her wealth and ensure it continues to grow. She plans for future generations, setting up trusts and other financial structures to secure her family's financial future. Abundance and wealth provide the freedom to not only live comfortably, but to make a difference. By continuing to manage your finances wisely, you can reach this stage and use your wealth to benefit yourself and others. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. And if you made it to this point of the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.